Okay, my beautiful friends, it is Thursday, August 19th, 2021. Well, you know, as usual, uh, every Thursday we get the first time unemployment claims report for the prior week. And as predicted, it's an abysmal number. Another 348,000 people applying for first time unemployment benefits. Now, you know, just for kicks, if you feel like having a little, uh, I don't know, I don't even know the word for it. Turn on any of the mainstream channels and they're trying to tell you this is a good thing. You can't possibly make this stuff up if you try to. How is it good when the 348,000 people apply for first time unemployment benefits? Oh, because it could have been worse. Anyway, that's just part of it. The second part of the, uh, the news that we got this morning is inflation is rising at a faster pace then predicted, duh, predicted by who, by who? That's what I want to know, seriously. Is it these uh, economists that are supposed to be so smart? They, they're never right. It's an astounding thing. Anyway, let's move forward here. Right now, this morning, there is a bit of a fear trade going on. You got the 10-year yield coming down. What does that mean? Cash is going into the debt market. Okay, when you see that, it's a fear trade. You got stock futures lower across the board, pointing towards yet a lower open this morning. Okay, you know, a few days of sell-off in this market is exactly what this market needs, in my view. You all know that. It's gotten so stupid. Is it going to get bought up? I guess we're going to have to see how that plays out. You know, a lot of people are taking to heart what Goldman Sachs said yesterday. I'm talking about market participants here. So Goldman Sachs came out yesterday explaining that the economy, quote, is not good. Uh, I mean, seriously, does that deserve a duh as well? And that got followed up by Citigroup saying the same thing. But again, go have a few laughs if you want. Turn on any of the mainstream channels. They're going to tell you the economy's great. And they're going to parade people out there telling you the economy's great. Farming on all cylinders. It's just lovely and perfect. Um, and meanwhile, again, we found out, and this is no secret to you, we got more American citizens today on public assistance than ever before in history. And this number is going to get worse. More people are going on public assistance uh, the middle class is being exterminated on a grand epic scale. Anyway, um, so that's the story this morning. Stock futures slated for a lower open. There was a fear trade on. Cash going into the debt market, dollar stronger. Again, when you see that, very clearly, 10-year yield dropping, dollar stronger. That's a fear trade. It affects the market. Futures drop. It's that Simple. It's very easy. Now let's look over at crude. Because of demand concerns, crude oil is under pressure yet again. Okay. That is obviously going to hit the energy sector, financial sector. We know the game. But again, you know, I don't know how many of you last night caught me on the Barrel Buddies show. I did answer some questions with regard to uh, the market. And, um, you know, the big thing people seem to be asking is, you know, because, you know, I'm always telling you to buy the dip and I will not change until the 10 year yield spikes when it drops like it is now. And you see the dollar getting stronger. That's that's a fear trade, which, which presents opportunity to get into this market at a lower price. Things go on sale when you got a fear trade going on. All right. The Fed cannot raise rates, nor do they want to any time soon. All the talk about tapering is a distraction. It's a look here, don't look here. The Fed wants to inflate along with other central banks because what they're doing here, okay, you know what they're doing if you follow this blog. They are, well, literally taking over the world by buying assets. Um, our economy here is in free fall as a percentage of GDP. Our economy here in the United States is contracting at a, a stunning pace. But you're not allowed to know these things. Okay, what else is going on? I told you about the 10-year yield dropping, dollar getting stronger, crude oil taking a hit. 
Gold right now is under a little pressure. Silver is catching a bid. Cryptocurrencies are under some pressure as well. Uh, I said recently, maybe several days ago, that we might see some pressure on cryptos, and I think this is a great opportunity. Again, nothing goes up in a straight line without a little bit of a pullback or a drop. This drop in crude oil, I mean, this is typical of market activity before a run higher. And those of you that understand the markets, I think, get it. Up, 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 up. Drop. New floor. Higher, higher, higher. I believe sincerely that the last couple of days in this market where we've sold off a little bit, uh, we haven't sold off enough. I'm telling you right now, this market needs to fall further. Will it? I have no idea because every single time this has happened, it gets bought back up within a relatively short period of time. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, but we don't get meaningful pullbacks anymore or meaningful correct. We don't get corrections anymore. Uh, it's, it's an astounding thing and it's not normal. But when you have the situation we are in with easy money, uh, you know, coming out of central banks around the world, not just the Fed, you got the IMF issuing SDRs uh, in uh, historic amounts. I mean, it's all about inflating and they're not done. So whatever, that's the story. And I say we just take advantage of it. Um, for my lions out here, you buy the dip. For you stackers out here, you buy the dip. For you crypto hold holders out here, you buy the dip. That's the way it is until the 10-year yield spikes. When the 10-year yield drops and the dollar goes up, that is a glaring buying opportunity for the market and for everything else connected to it because the Fed is not done by a long shot. Anyway, all right, that's it, people. A lot of stuff going on, like like I covered here in this video. Let's see what happens throughout the day. Uh, we know what to look for. We know what to look at. And everything you need to, to watch is right here on my website, traderschoice.net. The dollar index, crude oil, 10-year yield, uh, charts. There's a free chat room for you. Uh, free downloads like you can't believe. Take advantage of these things. All right, love you a lot. Please share the video, and I will see all of you later.